If we know that two propositions are logically equivalent, we can substitute one for the other within a more complex proposition. And after the substitution, the new proposition is logically equivalent to the proposition before the substitution. So for example, if p then q is equivalent to the negation of p or q. Therefore, the statement p or r and not p or q, we see the not p or q, so we can change that to if p then q. So now we have p or r and if p then q. We can also use the logical equivalents where the variables p and q are represented by compound propositions. So for example, not t and r then not s or t, we can actually use this same equivalence to make this the negation of not t and r or not s or t. So substitutions give us an alternative way to show that two propositions are logically equivalent. If we can obtain one from the other by a series of substitutions, then the two are going to be logically equivalent. So this does allow us another way to prove logical equivalence without the use of truth tables. However, it does require us to know a bunch of propositions that are logically equivalent ahead of time to be able to do these substitutions. Luckily, we have a lot of laws that are already well established. So the idempotent laws, P or P is equivalent to P. Same thing, P and P is equivalent to P. Our associative laws say if I'm using either the conjunction or the disjunction, I can move parentheses around as long as it's the same operation throughout the problem. Commutative laws, P or Q is equivalent to Q or P. Same thing with the AND. P and Q is equivalent to Q and P. We have the distributive laws. So P or Q and R is the same thing as P or Q and P or R. On the other side of that, P and Q or R is equivalent to P and Q or P and R. We also have the identity laws. If we have P or a false statement, this is equivalent to P. P and a true statement is equivalent to P. P or a true statement is, e is always true. And then P and a false statement is always false. We also have the double negation law. So this is the same th idea as two negatives canceling each other out. The negation of the negation of P is equivalent to P. Our complement laws, P or not p is always true, and p and not p is always false. In addition, the negation of true is false, and the negation of false is true. De Morgan's laws let us move a negation sign within a parenthesis. So the negation of p or q is the negation of p and the negation of q. The negation of p and q is equivalent to the negation of p or the negation of q. So with De Morgan's laws, we negate every single proposition and we switch disjunction to conjunction and we'll change conjunction to disjunction. So we switch the ands and the ors. The absorption law says P or P and Q is equivalent to P and P and P or Q is also equivalent to P. The last one is the conditional identities. If P then Q is equivalent to the negation of P or Q, and P if and only if Q is equivalent to if P then Q and if Q then P. So now let's do this example using substitutions. So when we use substitutions, we usually start with either the left or the right side and do a series of substitutions. It's generally easier to start with the more complicated side of the equivalence. So in this case, I'll start with the left-hand side. The first thing to notice is the negation in front of a parenthesis. And we get rid of this using De Morgan's Law. So now it becomes the negation of P and the negation of negation of P and Q. We now have another negation outside of a parenthesis. 
So we'll use De Morgan's law again. So now we have the negation of the negation of P or the negation of Q. We can use our double negation law to simplify that double negation. And then from here we're going to want to use the distributive law to distribute the AND. So now I have the negation of P and P or the negation of P and the negation of Q. The complement law says the negation of P and P is always false. And our identity law says if we look at a proposition or a false statement, we just get the proposition. So now we can see that we get back to the right-hand side that we wanted. So these are logically equivalent.